Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to cover remaining two topics of session one of unit three, relational database management system. Now here the first topic is primary key. A primary key is a unique value that identifies a row in a table. In the last video, I explained this that in RDBMS we are storing our data in the table format. And in the table we are first of all mentioning columns and actually columns here in RDBMS are called fields or attributes. So we have to first of all mention all the fields or attributes of the table and then after we are storing our data in the rows those are called records or tuples. But here when we are mentioning all the fields of the table so there we have to mention one field or combination of two or more fields as primary key. And this primary key is actually used to identify each record or tuple that is in the table. Now here on the screen you can see one example that as I want to create one table that is student and in that student table I am going to mention my fields or columns as admission number, name, date of birth, location and phone. So as I want to record these all details of students so I have to mention these all columns in my table. So in this case I have to mention one field as a primary key and here I am going to consider admission number column as the primary key. I am not selecting name, DOB, date of birth, location and phone as a primary key because of some reason and that you will understand when you will see the properties of primary key. So whenever we are mentioning a field of the table as a primary key then we have to keep these two points in our mind that if a particular field is mentioned as the primary key then that particular field must contain unique value. Unique value means what that in that particular column same value we cannot repeat or we cannot enter again. So that is the first here and second one is that whenever a particular column is mentioned as the primary key in that case when we are doing a new entry in the table that this is compulsory to provide value in the primary key column. So this is the meaning of the second condition here or property here that a primary key column cannot have null value. Null value means what? That we cannot leave it blank. So whenever we are doing entry in the table and if a particular column is set as a primary key so this is mandatory to provide value in that particular column. So now here I have created one table and that table I am going to explain how a particular column is set as a primary key and uh, I have to consider these two properties that I explained just now. So first one here as you can see one student table is created and in this student table five fields are there or columns admission number, name, DOB, location and form. Now here as I have already told that whenever we are creating the table in RDBMS one column we have to set as the primary key. So here admission number column I am setting as a primary key because of two reasons and those two reasons or properties we have seen just now that this column cannot contain the same value again and the second one is here null value is also not allowed means we have to provide value in this column whenever we are doing the entry of new record. So here now the question is why admission number column is mentioned as a primary key and not name, DOB, location and phone because as we know that in a particular class two or more students are there with the same name so that's why name we cannot set as a primary key because repetition is possible there and we know that in primary key column two conditions are what that same value cannot be repeated again or cannot be uh, entered again and the second one is we cannot leave it blank so that's why in case of name column here repetition of the same name is possible so that's why this column cannot be set as a primary key second one DOB that is date of birth so this is also possible that two or more students are there with the same date of birth so that's why this column cannot be also considered as a primary key third one is location so many students may be from the same location so here in this column also repetition of value is possible and phone number so in case of siblings phone number will be same so this column is going to contain same value so that's why as here you can notice that name date of birth location and phone these four columns may contain the same value again or here repetition of value is possible so that's why these four columns cannot be set as the primary key now admission number so as we know that in a particular school admission number of each student is unique that is not repeated so that's why here admission number column i have considered as the primary key 
and second one is that whenever i am doing the entry of new student in that case i have to mandatory provide admission number of that student i cannot leave it blank so in this student table because of this reason admission number column is mentioned as the primary key because it is not going to contain the same value again because two students cannot be with the same admission number and second one is as whenever we are giving the admission to the student that time only we are assigning admission number or we are giving admission number so that's why this column will not contain the null value also means this column will not be left blank so because of these reasons this admission number field here is mentioned as a primary key and this is mandatory that whenever we are creating a table in rdbms one column or two or more column set we have to define or mention as the primary key now after this next one is foreign key so a foreign key is a field or a column that is used to establish a link between two tables in simple words you can say that a foreign key in one table used to point primary key another table now in the last video i explained that data can be organized in two ways in rdbms one is flat file and second one is relational in flat file only one table is there in the database but in relational two or more tables are there so whenever we have two or more tables in the database so those tables are needed to be linked now just to explain the concept of here one example is there on the next slide so that i am going to show you so here two tables are there one table is a student table and in the student table the student details are there their admission number name date of birth location and phone number and second table is a store table and this table is containing details of purchasing done by the students so now here in my first table is student table admission number is a primary key because that is going to contain unique value for each entry and uh, that will not be also left as blank and in the store table i am considering bill number column as a primary key because whenever someone will do the purchasing obviously that person will get the unique bill number so that's why bill number column is going to contain unique value and obviously bill number will be generated so that's why this column will also not remain blank in case of any new entry so that's why as bill number in the store table is going to satisfy or hold both the two conditions unique value and will not remain blank so that's why bill number is mentioned as a primary key in the store table admission number cannot be considered as a primary key in the store table because there if same student is purchasing something from the store again and again so that the student admission number will come again and again in the admission number column so that's why here in the store table admission number column cannot be considered as a primary key because here repetition of the value is possible date column can also not be considered as a primary key because if two or more students are purchasing something from the store so there will be entry of same date in the date column so repetition is possible in the date column so that's why date column can also not be considered as a primary key and last one is amount so obviously if two students are doing the purchasing the same amount so repetition is possible there so that's why here as in case of admission number date and amount columns of store table repetition of value is possible so these columns cannot be considered as the primary key but bill number is going to contain unique value for each entry of the record in this table so that's why bill number column is considered as primary key here now next one is concept of the foreign key so now as you can notice here two tables are there so i am considering that in my one database these two tables are available one is the student and second one is the store now actually i want to link these two tables just to access the data from both the two tables so for that here the foreign key concept is used the foreign key concept is actually used to link tables so here as you can see in the student table admission number column is there and that is the primary key there and in the store table admission number same column is there but here it is not the primary key so here this column admission number in the store table is mentioned as a foreign key and this admission number foreign key of store table is used to link student table so here this is a use of the foreign key concept to link two tables so here foreign key of a store table that is admission number column is used to link these two tables so that's a foreign key is an important concept and that is used to link two tables so for example if i want to know that purchasing done by the student whose admission number is 1014 and i want to know that student name also so here you can see that i am giving only admission number that is 1014 but what i want name of the student as well as purchasing done also okay so here you can notice that i will get 
data from two tables one is the student table and from the student table i will get name of the student and from the store table i will get purchasing done by 1014 admission number student so that is the purpose of linking two tables because sometimes this is needed to get data from two or more tables so that's why those tables are needed to be linked and just to link tables foreign key concept is used and foreign key as you can notice is available in the store table and it is pointing primary key of student table because admission number column is primary key in student table so here this is the foreign key now here session 1 of unit 3 is ending and uh, session 2 of unit 3 i will start in the next video so this video i am going to end here